If you're looking at the screen wondering if something went wrong and a clip started playing from another course, relax, it didn't. This is still InDesign CC data merge and variable data printing. Neither have I gone insane or eaten spoiled food. Of the literally thousands of variable data projects I've worked on in my career, my favorite kind is personalized children's content like storybooks that incorporate a child's name and other details into the narrative. Kids light up when they see or hear aloud their names as part of a book. These three questions were part of one such personalized storybook I helped create a few years ago, although it wasn't called Princess You Storybook and used different pages than you'll see in a moment. During the ordering process, would-be princesses and their parents were asked these questions. Here in the CSV, you can see a trio of responses ready for data merge. Open storybookstart.indd from the Storybook Project folder. You'll see this two-page children's book spread standing in for a complete storybook. You can merge data into multi-page documents as easily as any other kind of document. I've limited this document to just two pages to make the learning easier, but it could easily be 2,000 pages. The data merge method of one record multi-page will work just as well. The copy editor has identified where variable data should be inserted with bracketed all cap placeholders. First, connect the data source on the data merge panel. But instead of manually entering the merge placeholders on every page, which would be a chore and prone to error with a full length storybook, we'll employ some automation. We need to manually insert the first set of placeholders though, so on this left page, replace the bracketed placeholders with actual merge placeholders for the three fields. Turn on Data Merge Preview to make sure everything worked. There's the child's name, hometown, and chosen pet unicorn name. Good. Everything worked. Turn off Preview so we can see the placeholders again. Highlight the name placeholder and copy it to the clipboard with Command-C for Mac or Control-C for Windows. Sliding over to the right-hand page, you can see that the child's name needs to be inserted three more times on this page. Here, here, and yes, even inside the artwork, which was created to use live text specifically so we could make it a variable. Obviously, you could paste the merge placeholder into those three locations quickly, but what if there were two or three dozen pages requiring that placeholder? Manually is not the way to replace static text with merge placeholders. Leave the text alone for now and go up to Edit, Find Change. In the Find What field, type in the static text placeholder you want to replace, which in this case is Name surrounded by double brackets. In the Change To field, do not paste. If you do, the replacements will be static text that looks like merged placeholders but have no connection to the data in the Data Merge panel. Instead, click this button here to access special symbols and markers. We want Other, Clipboard Contents Unformatted. That will insert this code, which tells InDesign to use for replacement what's on the clipboard which at this moment is the actual merge placeholder. Set the scope to search the entire document and then click Change All. All instances of the editor's placeholder text will be replaced with a real merge placeholder. Confirm that by enabling Data Merge Preview. Voila! On the Data Merge panel, you can even see on which page each field is used. Name shows three locations on page two and a single location on page one. Now let's generate the merge documents. Multi-page merge documents start off the same way, but on the Options tab, you'll probably want to activate Record Limit Per Document and set it to 1. That means InDesign will generate a new document for every record, a new file for each girl's storybook. Click OK, and that's exactly what you'll get. In this way, you can create publications dozens or hundreds of pages long with just as many merge fields if you like, variable data books, Catalogs, magazines, and other multi-page projects are created exactly as we just did the two-page children's book spread. Next, let's look at how merge text doesn't have to be boring.